I, I am Neri Kamitan, Senior Science Research Specialist of the Food Development Center of the Department of Agriculture. My assignment at FDC is in the Research and Development section and at the same time, I've been tasked to spearhead the establishment of FDC's Molecular Biology and Bioinformatics Laboratory for Food Safety. Basically, I am conceptualizing and implementing short-term and long-term R&D projects addressing food safety issues. I am also conducting research on improving the quality and safety of our food supply, both uh, raw and processed products. What I love most from my job is its research aspect. Research is parallel to truth-seeking. Uh, it seeks truth which in science is an underlying principle that explain why and how things are being observed the way they are so that effective science-based interventions can be introduced. In short, my passion for investigating the truth drives me to do my best in research in my job. My accomplishment and initiatives that led me to 2017 Presidential Lincoln Bayan Award can be traced from country situation in 2015 when the issue on fake rice struck the Philippines causing public health alarms. During that time, uh, many people in the country have assumed that the occurrences of fake rice is attributed to smuggling. NFA took the lead as they are importing rice from other countries. FDC has pulled up scientific personnel, however, at that time, we do not have a molecular biology laboratory for DNA analysis of respected samples. Hence, uh, FDC can only perform a physical and chemical evaluation of the suspected fake rice samples. However, these approaches may not give definitive results, knowing that many physical and chemical properties may have been also shared by alleged samples. Thus, it would not really be conclusive. Having a background in molecular biology, since I was sent by NFA for a graduate study to the OST scholarship, I shared with a co-researcher in FDC my technical suggestion on how the problem on fake rice may be resolved. And I recommended to subject the alleged fake rice samples to DNA analysis. That time, I was not a member of the FDC technical group working on the approaches to investigate on fake rice. But this co-researcher of mine, perhaps um, in view of intellectual honesty, relayed to the FDC technical group my suggestion and I was called by the FDC director to join their group and lay down my suggested approaches to know the truth about alleged fake rice. So I reiterated to them my technical suggestion but the problem was that FDC had no molecular biology laboratory that time. So I suggested to collaborate with other government agency which already had molecular biology laboratory. I had a classmate in molecular biology graduate courses way back my time at UPLB. So this classmate of mine was working at the Philippine Rice Research Institute. So I sought his help for collaboration. We wrote to Phil Rice and uh, my classmate endorsed me to their executive director. The Phil Rice Trust is more on the development of rice variety. Nonetheless, their head approved our request for DNA analysis of alleged fake rice uh, samples knowing that it is a national concern. After which, uh, DNA analysis yielded a conclusive result that the alleged fake rice samples were all true rice samples comparable to the reference rice variety. And that pacified the food safety issue on fake rice. Prior to, to my works in the government, I was an agronomist and a high school science teacher in a private institution and I love my earned experiences from this. Before 
I just want to work in my field of specialization, whether in government or private institutions. My first government work experience in the OST made me realize that public service really has the great impact to the country. So I said that when God will give me an opportunity for an IT position in a research assignment, I would choose it to provide positive impact in the lives of our countrymen through research. Working in the government automatically means that we are public servants. We need to work ethically with wisdom to become efficient and transparent. But there are two important messages I would like to share to my fellow public servants. First, have that positive attitude towards work. Having a clear conscience would guide us towards conscientious public servants so we can work with positive attitude as what was stated in 1 Peter 3.16. Second, we should uphold competencies and recognize that competencies is not from ourselves, but God is our sufficiency, as stated in 2 Corinthians 3.5. No matter what our grade level or work position is, nurture your competencies to upgrade the quality of your service and for continual improvement. Make the upgrading of competencies as your motivation at work. With competencies and good attitude, recognitions and promotions follow. May this give you contentment and happiness in work. After all, it's not how much we achieve in our lives that matters to God, but it's how much we use the God's entrusted capabilities to us to reach out others in the name of our Lord. God bless you all po and keep safe.